Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. We're viewing you with Magician in Reverse and that may have them feeling a certain way. Um, but this person plays a lot of games with you. They can also be someone who has a sharp tongue. They sort of blurt out whatever they're thinking. Um, they don't really think over um, how they may be um, perceived by another, right? And there's some codependency here, Can't, uh, Leo, right? You fill some sort of emotional void within this person. And if you hold back your energy, that is why they're feeling upset here. Can you please clarify the Knight of Swords? For the person on Leo's mind, why is Nine of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles, Empress. Yeah, some of you, you were in a relationship or a commitment with this person. There was a lot of potential here uh, between the both of you. Yeah, look at that. The Sun, Strength, and Empress. You're very nurturing as a person. You're a perfect 10. That is how you're coming through. This person has their issues. Why is Nine of Cups in reverse? Yeah, something to do with their childhood or self-love, right? There's that void. They feel empty. If you haven't been speaking to them, they feel some way about that. How they're viewing you, King of Cups, the Magician in Reverse. Perhaps you are offering them a lot of emotional support. They're viewing you as someone who's quite intelligent, right? You have a good balance between your head and your heart. Um, you're someone who's extremely wise. You have a lot of experience. It's almost they're wanting to sip um, from your cup, but they're not really bringing as much to the table here. They're coming to you with an empty cup, right? That is why I have an issue with this person, but they're also seeing you as a magician in reverse. Um, someone who's not really going out of their way to initiate anything. This person's bringing a lot of lust, passion your way. If I look at the outcome, it's all fire, right? And I think you were looking for something more emotionally secure, and this person's coming through as a bit selfish and emotionally unavailable so you pulled back your energy because you said i don't want something that's only physical i need something with substance here and maybe you had that conversation and this person right didn't get what they wanted from you so they're throwing a little bit of a temper tantrum here with the knight of swords um, because they are coming through as knights and pages it can be a little bit immature right that parent child dynamic for some of you right take what resonates it's a general reading keep that in mind how they're feeling about you or how they will be feeling about you. We have Nine of Wands, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not going out of their way uh, to make this work. They're not fighting for the situation and they're not bringing stability your way. Let's clarify. Why is Nine of Wands in reverse here for how this person will be feeling? And they miss you, right? There's a lot of memories here. It's almost a soulmate uh, bond between both of you but they're trying to block out their emotions and how they feel. Some of you, they had a decision to make and they weren't ready to uh, move forward, right? That can be whether they want to commit to the situation or not. Why is Page of Pentacles in reverse here? Why is Page of Pentacles in reverse here? Five of Swords. Yeah, they play some petty mind games here. Some of you within a commitment, a home situation. You may even have children with this person, but they act very immature and impulsive, sometimes reckless, right? They don't think. It's almost the King of Wands. He goes where his passions lead him. Um, gen we're not gender specific here, but yeah, they sort of leap off that cliff without thinking, without looking, and then they regret one, you know, their actions here is what I'm seeing. But they are holding on to the reason they're not offering or giving you anything um, uh, for the time being is because there there's some mind games maybe testing you to get a reaction out of you. That is what is going on here. But they're, they haven't let go of you because they're emotionally dependent on you. What action they'll take towards you? We have Nine of Pentacles, the Empress. They're focused on themselves, their independence, Self-growth coming through some of you. Finances could be, um, you know, taking up their focus here as well. Big towards Leo. 
clarify Empress for what action this person will take towards Leo. Ace of Cups in reverse, self-love. And some of you, this person's keeping their options open. Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, which is why you cut them out. You said, I don't want only passion, right? I need something more. I need something with substance that has depth. Um, and they weren't able to provide that. They're coming through as emotionally unavailable. Their cup is empty, right? That's how I started off the reading. That is what I'm getting. This person may have been a bit of an energy vampire, right? When you dealt with them, they were very draining. Cross watchers, this can be, the roles may be reversed here. I'm getting that because I was getting a lot of Leo energy. Um, so some of you could have a Leo that did this to you. For this person's intentions, we have Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in reverse. Uh, they're not bringing stability uh, your way. There's a lot of fantasy illusions when it comes to you, but, and they're not ready to settle down. They're not the most stable energy. All the pentacles are coming through in reverse. Why is Queen of Pentacles here? For this person's intentions towards Leo. Why is Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? Four of Swords wanting to come back around to you. They think about this a lot. Yeah, there may have been no contact or separation here and they miss you they want communication they're waiting for that opportunity to come back around because they need your emotional support the moon why is seven of cups in reverse here? hermit in reverse be very careful with this energy leo um be care be cautious that this person isn't coming back around to you because of lack of options right not too fond of this energy so far leo if it's resonating right yeah this situation throws you off balance some of you may even be holding on to resentment here for what this person put you through right perhaps put you in a third party or just you know doing things to upset you here how you'll be feeling about them we have nine of swords five of pentacles in reverse you're also wanting to come back around or revisit this situation. You may have something you want to express to them. Why is Nine of Swords in reverse here? For how Leo will be feeling. Some of you were thinking about this situation quite a bit. It caused you a lot of stress. You're coming out of that. Yeah, you keeping an eye. You're patiently observing this person, Hangman. But you're not giving to this. So we definitely through tarot readings, um, social media, you keep a close eye on this person. Why is Five of Pentacles in reverse? For how Leo will be feeling. Yeah, sort of stuck energy. You know, should I walk away? But you may be having a hard time. So it's almost dragging your feet. It's almost knowing that maybe the situation isn't serving you any longer, but having a hard time um, disconnecting here is what I'm getting, especially if there was a commitment here, right? A marriage. So I understand if that is the case. It's difficult. Um, you were emotionally invested, right? You may, you perhaps gave a lot of time energy um, to this person, this situation. So it's not easy to cut off from your emotions here, right? Your outcome, Leo, Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, the world in reverse. Some of you, uh, you're working in some sort of group setting. There may be drama. Few of you may have even worked with this person. But I see conflict here, disagreements, not seeing eye to eye, right? There is a sense of unfinished business here, Leo. Yeah, there's disagreements within a home situation, a commitment, a family, or even a work situation, right? But there's a drama here around you. If that is the case, they're telling you not to participate. Some of you may even choose to um, divert your attention to the more mundane, you know, the material aspect of life because you feel the situation is not bringing you justice, right? It's unfair. Why is world in reverse here?
Yeah. Some of you feel this person isn't learning their lessons, right? Um, which is causing this shake up. Some of you, there was an unexpected ending here um, because someone wasn't making up their mind. They weren't changing their ways, right? So you, there's a little bit of bitterness here, right? With the Queen of Swords. So I see you trying to emotionally detach and you are keeping yourself guarded. But a part of you still feels the situation isn't over, right? There's a decision you have to make. You know, should I cut this out completely or should I hang in there? Really is what the dilemma is. Especially if there's children or a marriage, right? It's, there's, there's some loyalty here is what I'm getting from your energy. In their outcome, we have Ace of Wands, the Sun, King of Wands. Yeah, they're wanting to take initiative. Um, they're wanting to come towards you with a lot of their lust and passion is what they're bringing your way. Something more lighthearted, fun, flirty, right? It's nothing serious here with this individual. And they may, for some of you, come back around and say they've changed, but I'm still getting that same energy that you started off with. Someone who's a bit flighty, right? Why is Ace of Wands here for this person's outcome? They're not listening to their intuition. They need to sort through their feelings. They're not taking that time to do so. They need to self-reflect. Why is Sun here? Yeah, they care. <laughs> they, they have... I don't think you understand how much desire, passion they have for you. It's overwhelming to the point where they lose all... Their, pla their passion for you is blinding. All they can see is that desire they have for you. So just look into this person's eyes, you'll feel it. But a lot of you may not be communicating. Some of you, it's because there's distance here. King of Wands is pointing at the globe. Clarify the King of Wands. Strength. Look at them. They're trying to restrain themselves. They're like, it's almost animalistic desire that they have for you. That they're wanting to come towards you for clarity, for communication. They enjoy that intellectual stimulation and they enjoy your company, right? They do respect you. They do. It's a little bit of a bratty energy, but they do. They're seeing you as the king of cups, right? But there was a fallout or a separation here. Lovers in reverse. Some of you, this can also be a divorce with justice in reverse and you're waiting to wrap things up here. But this person's still wanting you. <laughs> I'm feeling overprotective. I look at your social media and secretly spy on you to see who you're talking to and where you are going. King of Wands and all this passion coming through in their outcome definitely can be an overprotective energy. But the problem here is, I love you with all my heart, but I'm afraid of letting you down. I have a cheating problem. Cheating problem. This person has a wandering eye. Grass is greener on the other side. You know what is going on with this person, Leo, is that you know, they come to you. It's almost like recharging their batteries, right? They come to you, you recharge their batteries, um, and then they go out about, right? Um, they're on their merry way. They need their space, they need their freedom. King of Wands hates restrictions. They hate, it's not the most committed type of energy. Um, depends on what it's paired next to though, right? If we have the King of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles, something to ground that energy, it can work, right? But in this instance, it's all passion here. Um, and, you know, when they're running low, they come back to you but then they feel suffocated. The emotions are overwhelming. They pull back their energy. So it's a bit of an on again, off again, right? And it's not fair for you because it seems that you're filling this person's cup, but they're coming to you with an empty cup. Ace of Cups in reverse. My heart still feels heavy at this moment. Please be patient with me.
I feel vulnerable around you and it scares me. Please give me time to trust our connection. So we have this twice. Please be patient with me. Please give me time. <laughs> this is exactly what I've been... You make me feel happy and complete. Your presence soothes me. Nine of cups in reverse. You're feeling some sort of void, right? And you know what happens when you rely on another, when you lean on another to make you happy, right? And that is what they're doing. They're leaning on you. You make them happy. And when you pull back your energy and they're feeling low on battery, things get messy. We have some days I love you, some days I hate you. I do have feelings for you, but I'm trying to convince myself I don't. So all this passion can be hard to sustain over a longer period of time, right? So that passion can definitely be channeled into hate as well, right? With the Five of Swords. Our relationship is beyond repair. I have nothing else to give, which is in their feelings. Nine of Wands in reverse. It's a very conflicted individual. What is this person towards Leo? <laughs> if you forgive me and allow me to enter your life, there's still hope for us. What is this person's intentions towards Leo? I'm going to be that total package for you. You will have it all with me very possessive oh okay yeah i'm going to conquer you i don't care who you're dating you are mine it's going to require that you fight for my love and affection i get a lot of attention so if you don't want to it's okay I'm wanting you to fight for them chase after them i want to come in and support all i want to come in and support you in all your endeavors this is more your energy. I think you are very supportive of this person, which is why they were seeing you as the King of Cups. I'll continue to play your silly games. It's quite endearing. Five of Swords, mind games. Let's take a break and figure out what we truly want for ourselves. So yeah, it's a bit on again, off again. We have Don't Know. Something is off about this story. Get some more info before making a decision. Not saying it's bad, but you want to be certain. And we also have love wins. They're saying don't turn your back on love um, just because of past experiences, right? Don't lose hope, keep pushing forward. We have Divine Feminine, 72 Yin Feminine Values, Maternal Energy. This is what this person is drawn to why they keep coming back towards you why do they feel this empty when you're not around and because you're the divine feminine um, you're extremely nurturing and supportive with the king of cups they feel they need you right there's a need here we have the intangible zero indeterminate formless unknowable so they may not even know why they feel this pull towards you right but it's not just about this connection. There's something deeper going on here uh, within this person. They need to, some of you, this has to do with their childhood. I was seeing birth here. They need to get to the root of the issue. Why are they feeling unhappy? Yeah, we have number nine, the dining table, a date, a social gathering nourishment. And we have dashing through the snow. Yeah, bottled up, repressed, pent up, needing release. Yeah, they're wanting to stand under your umbrella now. When things are tough, they feel empty, they want your umbrella. They're saying there's minor setbacks here with dashing through the snow, but this person with social date, yeah, they may want to take you out on a date here in their outcome. They were wanting clarity and communication, right? So I do see them coming towards you. And we had this in one of your cards, didn't we? It said something about, please take me. If you forgive me and allow me to enter your life, there's still hope for us, yeah. So the decision will lie in your hands here, Leo. Anything else you can tell me about this energy?
black swan six an unforeseen event a surprise hindsight some of you this 11 11 psychic experience finding a solution there may be that breakthrough moment and it may be um, via spirit guides through a reading you coming to some sort of realization everything is making sense right we had something is off about the story get more information before making a decision so you may get that more information that you've been seeking for right and it may be through your intuition here or some sort of psychic experience may even be through a tarot reading clarify this black swan and unforeseen event Clarify black swan. What are you trying to convey here? Okay. They're saying 40. The ice thaws. Relief, alleviation, better days ahead. So, yeah. I think this unforeseen event is this person maybe charging uh, towards you. But also if you've been going through a bit of a difficulty... Right, we did have fives in your energy. Um, that can be challenges. They're saying better days ahead, right? Something may happen here that sort of calms your mind. You, some information that comes to you, but also if you've been waiting on this person, they were wanting to rush in with the King of Wands. King of Wands is usually the pursuer, likes to initiate. So communication for a lot of you. But yes, Leo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.